this video, we will be looking at chart options. It's good to know that the chart type you have selected will define the set of chart options you can use. Each chart will come with their own specific set of options that can be applied. And not only that, also the data source you select within the chart type will allow for certain chart options. For example, a single score on normal table data will have less options than when you are visualizing the same chart based on performance analytics indicator data. As this is data over time, you now have options around trending and forecasting. The chart options are logically grouped. For example, you will have options around data, data uptake, chart interaction, the date range, changing data metric options and formatting, what to show when there is no data and additional settings. Let's look at some specific examples. For example, for the donut chart on this dashboard. One of the options we have is to add more groupings to the chart. It's currently configured as grouped by priority, but it allows me through alternative grouping to add more. I can make that selector always visible within the chart in the UI to easily allow for users in runtime to change the grouping of this donut. Other things I can do here is to change the metric aggregation when I want to show different ways how my data set can be aggregated. Or I can change the formatting of how my data is visualized. I can modify decimal precision or round my value to many different options or maybe abbreviate my numbers if the use case allows for that. These are some common chart options that apply to many chart types, but as said, some are specific to the chart type or data source you select. Time series charts with, for example, performance analytics indicator data have many additional options. You can modify the date range to show the maximum range, or maybe set it to a certain fixed period. You can even add that date range as a selector within the chart itself to allow your end users to change the date range while they are in consuming the chart in your dashboard. And next to that, this chart type and data source also allows for all those additional descriptive and predictive analytics chart settings, like targets or thresholds or show and hide forecasting and trending. Anything to make the data visualization chart more meaningful for your users' consumption. Lastly, there are a few charts that have very specific chart options. The geographical map is an example of that. Here you can select what type of location-based data is shown, or you can select the map itself that needs to show your geolocated data points. For example, I can change it to world to show the world map as the starting point of this geo map, or maybe set it to a certain continent, country, and even smaller. To summarize, there are many different chart options that come with our charts. Remember that the set of chart options you see is dependent on the chart type and data source type you selected. Based on that, the supported chart options become available.